these stocking decorations are quick to make. You can embellish the finished stocking in many different ways. I have made most of these in sport weight yarn using a 3mm hook. That way they are about 10 cm high or 4 inches. These are ideal tiny gifts you could add to your Christmas cards or give to, for instance, children's teachers. So let's start. We are starting here, then we make the picots and after that we continue here and then turn and finish here. I have a slip knot for starting and I'm actually using a bit heavier yarn than I would for the stocking just so that it's easier to see. First you need to chain 11, so chain 11. Seven, ten, eleven, and then a single crochet, and I'm using American crochet terms, a single crochet not into the first one from the hook but the second one, a single crochet and the same to the next, into the next one. There, and then we make the first pico. For that, you chain three and make a slip stitch into the first one of those three. So into here, and a slip stitch means that you pull straight through. There, and uh, two single crochets. So that's where the pico is. And a second pico, chain three, slip stitch into the first of those, and then again into the next one, a single crochet, and the next one. And again a pico, chain three, slip stitch, and uh, two single crochets, and one last pico. One, two, three, slip stitch, and then finish off with two single crochets. So that's the top of the stocking. Then we continue towards the other way. So we need to turn this and make a slip stitch into the end of this here, just so that we don't need to stretch the yarn to go across. And now you are holding it so that the picots are pointing downwards. Here's a good chance now to crochet the end of the yarn inside the stitches if you want. Chain one and then a single crochet into each stitch. Just to the end single crochet into every stitch. Now there's 10 single crochets on that row. Then chain three, chain three and turn. And uh, for this row we are going to make double crochets across with one chain in between. So a yarn over and a double crochet into not the first one but the second one. Yarn over through two, yarn over through two. Chain one and a double crochet, skipping the next stitch into the one after. Again, chain one, skipping. 
skip one double crochet now we have four counting this here start chain one again skip one chain one and a double crochet into the last stitch on this row here we are then chain one for turning and turn and two single crochets into each of the spaces two single crochets then skip into the next one and two single crochets until the end of the row so that's two single crochets in every space making 10 next chain three and turn and on this row we will have three double crochets that we wrap yarn around first we make the double crochet skip that one and that and into this here an ordinary double crochet first first a yarn over then the hook to the front of the stitch and go behind it like this here and take another yarn over and don't tighten it too much so we've wrapped it round like this here again a yarn over and the same again so bring it forward in through the gap take a yarn over and bring that yarn to the front and one more time yarn over in through here get the yarn there so now we have this big <laughs> lump of yarn and again a yarn over and then pull through all of these so you pull the hook through all of these it's easier to do it slowly so it doesn't catch with any on and you often need to sort of wiggle it a bit to get it through so here here it is our stitch sort of a big decorative stitch then chain two and uh, then skipping two we'll make this again so not that one not that one but the third one and a double crochet first and then we are doing this here wrapping again yarn over round yarn over to the front there and then again you pull through all of those and one more time but first chain two and skip two and uh, double crochet and one more of these here wrapped double crochets there and then chain one and a double crochet into the last stitch on the row so this is what that looks like then we are having a row of single crochets chain one and turn and two single crochets into the space before the big wrapped stitch then skip the big stitch and go into the next space and three single crochets there three single crochets and the same into the next space three and then two into the end so we always have 10 single crochets when we have 10 single crochets on this row and in all the rows where we have single crochets then next we'll have the same again so i'm starting the row but it will be the same so you chain three and turn 
and make a single crochet and wrap around that the same way as on the previous row. So you will have three like this with chaining two in between until the end just the same as that one. There, two of those rows and then again chain one, turn and single crochets so that there's two at the start and at the end and three in between giving us ten. Hit three here, three here, and two at the end. Next we'll have a row like this here. You chain three, turn and a double crochet into every second stitch and chaining one in between. So you always skip one, double crochet, chain one and so on until the end. Here and again a row of single crochets. So chain one and turn and two single crochets into each space. So you'll get 10 all together. There. We are now here and next we are doing this here bit that turns the heel. Chain two and turn and a double crochet into the third stitch from the hook. Chain three and now we are making five double crochets into this here space with one chain in between. So a double crochet into that space, chain one, again double crochet there, chain one, That was the third one, not counting the chains at the start. And one more. You may need to push them a bit to get them there. Then chain one and a slip stitch into the stitch closest to where you are. And now slip stitch to the top. So a slip stitch into every stitch just because we need to get to the top. There. Then chain two and turn. And now we're making trebles into these here spaces in between the double crochets of the last row. So two yarn overs, hook into the first space and with the treble you take a yarn over and you pull through two loops at a time. New yarn over, through two, new yarn over and through two. So that's one treble. And chain two and again the treble into that there. Chain two. And the next two will actually be longer stitches. So instead of two, you will have three yarn overs. Three yarn overs. Otherwise, just the same always a yarn over through two at a time. There and uh, chain two and again three yarn overs into the next space.
And then we have two more left and they each have just two yarn overs, chain two first, two yarn overs into the next space and one more time, chain two, two yarn overs. There. So now we have gone round that heel bit and then we just have the have the last bit to do. Chain one and now we'll make single crochets across here a bit. First three into this here long stitch, three single crochets. Then go on into the next one, one and two there, that's five. Then next space, that's six, and another one, that makes seven. Then into this bit, that's eight single crochets and we need ten. Then two more into this here space. So now we have 10 single crochets there. Then chain two and turn again and a double crochet into the second stitch. Chain two, double crochet into the middle. So that makes you skip three, one, two, three into the fourth one. chain two and a double crochet into that same stitch. So it looks like that and chain two and two double crochets at the end, skip three, two, three and there and a double crochet at the very end. And then we'll make the same kind of a row again. Chain two, turn, double crochet into this, chain two, and a double crochet into this here loop that we made in the middle. chain two and a double crochet into that same space chain two and two double crochets at the end and into the last one So nearly there, just one more row to do. The last row is making a rounded, sort of like where the toes would be if it was a real sock. Chain three, turn and uh, a double crochet again into that there space we've created in the middle. Chain one, and a second double crochet into the same space and one more. So chain one and one more double crochet there. So you have three double crochets now in the middle. And then chain three and a slip stitch into the end of the previous row. And that's it. So fasten off. So here we are, it's done. Just need to fasten that off. Then depending on what you are going to use it for, you may want to harden it. 
I have a link in the notes to a video that tells you how you could harden using glue. You can also use varnish and you can really use your imagination in adding things and embellishing the stockings.